Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will briefly show you how to calculate non-collinear uh, magnetism. So the target system is still iron, because I don't want to get uh, get it very complicated. But uh, but actually, iron like for iron, we don't really need uh, non-collinear uh, magnetism calculation. But just for a demonstration, this is okay. Um, I've constructed the input file. And uh, basically, this is the only thing that I changed. You, uh, if you set the non-collinear calculation to be true, you don't have to specify n spin. Yeah, because previously uh, we said n spin equals two, but uh, in in the case of non-collinear calculation, you just need to set n calling equals to true, and then we still need a starting magnetization for the for the iron atom. We set it to be zero point one. That's a little bit. Uh, Th that's a small value that just uh, that's just enough to break the uh, symmetry and then you get the angle so the first angle is the um is the angle of the spin with respect to the z axis the second angle is the projection of the spin onto the x y plane and then that line um, and then the ang angle between that line and the x, x axis so in this case, um, it is 90 degrees uh, uh, with respect to the z-axis, and then it is 0 degrees with respect to uh, uh, x-axis uh, with its pro uh, projection. So basically, the spin is a r uh, along the x-direction. Yeah. Uh, in principle, this sh should give the same result as, um, as before, because before, in the collinear calculation, the spin is uh, along the z uh, direction, but uh, but because there there is a, a cubic symmetry, so it doesn't matter whether it points into z direction or x direction or y direction. Yeah, so it should give you the same result. Another thing that I change here is that I add a mixing beta. So so this is one option that uh, that may be uh, useful if you if the calculation does not converge, because the uh, the default value is quite large i don't remember what is the default value but basically if the if you decrease this beta it will uh, it will increase the convergence however the convergence would be uh, uh, slower yeah okay so we can just run mp i run nice so mp2 cores and then Minus INP and output to out. So this will take a little bit longer because um, a non-spin polarized calculation is fastest, and then it is the collinear magnetic uh, magnetism calculation, which specifies that the uh, direction of the spin is along z direction. So that that that's slower than the non-spin polarized, but still it is faster than the non-collinear calculation. Yeah. So we just wait a little bit. And in the meantime, if you want to check uh, the output of the, um, of the calculation, you can open a new terminal and use tail minus f uh, command. OK, so this is finished. We take a look at the output. So you see that uh, here it is the uh, direction of the magnetization of the x, y, z component. And you see it uh, actually points to the x direction, as what I said before. And there's r theta phi. And uh, yeah, so, so theta is the angle 1 that we uh, defined. And uh, 0 is the angle 2 that we defined. OK. And then the final result is also around uh, two Bohr magneton per cell, or or let's say per uh, iron atom. So this is also what we calculated before using the collinear calculation. Okay, so uh, in this video I've I've shown you how to do a non-collinear calculation, and I've shown you that uh, it gives the same result for uh, for iron, and um, I hope you will already learned something if you like my video please uh, press like or subscribe to my channel 
and uh, I thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.